let's have a discussion about the slope of two perpendicular lines so first you have to understand what is the meaning of slope so slope we are representing by small m or we can say it is tan theta that is equals to tan theta means the line a straight line is making an angle of theta with the positive x axis so let's draw the first line so first line i am drawing on the plane x and y plane right so let's say i am drawing this line correct this is the first line i am drawing then second line we are talking about the two perpendicular lines so i am drawing uh, another second line like this okay now let's say that these two lines are very much perpendicular perpendicular means that they both are making an angle of 90 degree so let's say this angle is 90 degree so this is the first line so i am taking this line as l1 this is the second line i am taking this line as l2 and they both are making angle 90 degree now see everyone line 1 line 1 is making an angle let's say an angle of beta with the positive x axis this is the positive x axis we know that and line l2 this line l2 this is making an angle of alpha with the positive x axis right so let's understand one thing everyone we know that we know that that this is a straight line right if this portion is beta so what is this portion this portion will be 180 minus beta because straight line is a complete uh, straight line is a straight angle of 180 degree right so the portion this one is 180 minus beta this is alpha this is beta and if you will see two lines when they are perpendicular or they are crossing each other they are intersecting at a point and the two angles front opposite to each other they are 90 uh, they are equal to each other so if this is 90 then this is also 90 degree so if you will see this triangle if you are able to see this triangle so we know that the angles and property that all the three angles interior angles in a triangle is equals to 180 degrees so let's say this point as point a this point as point b and this point as point c let's say capital c so in triangle a b c at angle some property so angle a plus angle b plus angle c that is equals to 180 degree this is the angle some property right what is angle a angle a is 90 degree opposite angles then what is angle b angle b is alpha plus what is angle c it is 180 minus beta and equals to 180 degree so 180 degree 180 degree cancels out with each other right so what you are left with you are left with alpha minus beta is equals to 90 degree and alpha is equals to 90 plus beta now if you will take if you will take 10 theta both sides so 10 alpha is equals to 1090 plus beta okay so this is tan alpha now we know that tan 90 plus beta 90 plus beta means second quadrant and in second quadrant tan converted uh, because 90 plus or 90 minus conversion there is so tan converted into cot and in the second quadrant tan is negative so that's why it's minus cot beta okay now what we will do we will write tan alpha and we convert cot also in the form of tan so it will be 1 over beta because we know that cot and tan they are reciprocal of each other so if we will take if we will cross multiply so it's tan alpha tan beta that is equals to minus one what is tan alpha i know that tan is the slope only tan theta is the slope so tan alpha is for the line uh two okay line two so i'm taking m2 okay because we are representing a slope by m and tan alpha is the angle which is made by line l1 so i am taking the slope as l1 that is equals to minus 1 so if you will see the slope of two perpendicular lines product that is equals to minus 1 okay so that's that thank you everyone